Hey guys, so I've got a haul video for you today. I received uh, the first two orders <laughs> that I placed on Sephora during the VIB sale. Um, I received those and I've ordered one more thing, which I'll just haul at another time. Um, I also have some other things that I've ordered and some other things that I've received in PR. So we're just gonna make this one big giant haul. So I haven't even opened up these boxes. So let's go ahead and open them up together. So I think this is the second order I placed. We'll just go ahead and open this up first. There's a lot of paper in here. Okay, half of this order is for my husband. So he really enjoys the Belief Pore Cleaner Foam Cleanser. He has very kind of like normal combo skin. You know, it kind of changes with the weather, but not too drastically. So he really likes this. I got him two bottles of that. He also loves the Belief Problem Solution Moisturizer. So he uses, he calls this his aftershave. So he basically puts this on as like, just a really kind of like lightweight moisturizer that's gonna like absorb quickly. He really enjoys this as well. So I got him two bottles of that. And then when he does have a breakout, he likes to kind of spot, kind of treat his pimples with this Sunday Riley UFO acne treatment face oil. He literally just takes like one small drop of the oil and puts it right onto the blemish and it goes away like overnight, instantly, very, very quickly. So I think he has just a little bit left of his existing bottle right now. So he thought, why don't we just go ahead and get another one? And this has a 1.5% salicylic acid. All right, so those were all the things that I got for him in that order. And the rest of the things in this order are from Jo Malone. <laughs> I was watching the Glam Dr. Mona's haul video and she talks about this one fragrance. I think it's called English Oak and Red Currant. And I love Red Currant and I love like woody, woodsy like campfire type scents. And I was like, why have I never tried this? I don't think it's a new scent from Jo Malone, but it just really seemed right up my alley. So I got, what did I get? I got a cologne of it, the smaller bottle, since I've never actually smelled it before. It comes beautifully wrapped with you know, the black ribbon and the Jo Malone boxes. I don't know if you guys have ever ordered anything from Jo Malone, but if you order anything from them directly or anything from Sephora, they always use these beautiful gift boxes, which I try and repurpose because they're really, really thick and long lasting. So anyway, that is the packaging and here is the clone. So again, I got the smaller size. This is the one fluid ounce, 30 mil. Ooh, ooh, I like that. I really smell the red currant and then I feel like the English oak is like a woody kind of musky scent. Ooh, that's nice. It's almost like a unisex scent. Ooh, that is very interesting. I think I'm gonna like it a lot as a candle, which is what I think I ordered. Yes, the English Oak Red Current Candle. So this comes in a bigger black box with um, a light yellow ribbon and here is the candle. So I got kind of like the the basic size not the little one and not the giant one and I have so many candles that Are halfway burned that need to be burned or whatever So I'm not gonna bother kind of like undoing all of this I kind of want to keep it as tightly sealed as possible, but I'm sure it smells very similar to the actual cologne So I'm just gonna put this away and then I actually picked up a diffuser and I'm not gonna lie I I got this because I just loved the bottle so much. So this is the Orange Blossom Scent Surround Diffuser. And I don't know if this is limited edition or if they've come out with like this new kind of like frosted glass packaging, but the Jo Malone diffusers usually are just like in a clear glass bottle, which is lovely. But I really liked this light orange, like an orange sherbet kind of like frosted glass. And then here are the like reed diffusers that you stick in there. Let me open this up. Mm. Yes, I'm a big fan of citrus scents. So the orange blossom is like a light citrus. It's very actually kind of like florally, but it's really, really beautiful. So I just have to decide where I'm gonna set this up versus where I would have a candle, probably in the bathroom, uh, but we'll see. So that is the orange blossom diffuser from Jo Malone. And that is all I got in this second order that I placed on Sephora. All right, and here is the first order that I placed. I don't know why, oh, you know what? I do know why. I know why this box is so big. I was trying to think, like I figured with that box, it was like the candles and the Jo Malone boxes. Um, and in here, I was like, why is this box so big? 
It's because I ordered those Shiseido facial cottons. Yeah, I ordered five packs of those facial cottons and they take up a lot of room. So that's the first thing that I got. I picked up five of these just to have around. Um, I probably won't even need to purchase um, these again during like the fall VIB sale because I started using those face halos, but I still use toner and I still use things that require a cotton pad. I'm, I am definitely trying to use less of these, but I figured let me just order a whole bunch and just have them because running out of these is really kind of a pain in the butt. So anyway, ordered five packs of these Shiseido facial cottons. So I'll start with the most boring thing. I got the La Mer, the moisturizing soft lotion. I have gone through a ton of these. I just buy them when I feel like I need to or if I feel like I need to have a backup. This is my evening moisturizer, like the last step in my skincare routine at night. And yeah, I love this. I've been using this for years. So anyway, this is just gonna go into my backup pantry. So most of the things I purchased, um, I mentioned in my VIB recommendations and what's in my cart, what's on my wish list video. Um, so let's just go through those first. And then of course I threw in some other things. So I did purchase the Givenchy healthy glow powder uh, bronzing powder in the shade 01 here is the outside packaging and then here's the little button that you press and here is the bronzer Ooh, it's so pretty and as I kind of suspected it is like a baked bronzer so hopefully it won't be too difficult to pick up sometimes baked products are very hard Ooh, but there is the tone of the bronzer Ooh, that's nice it's very very light this actually kind of reminds me it's a little bit of a warmer version of the guerlain uh like matte contour powder i think they call it it's a bronzer that they just recently came out with for like spring summer but it's very very light and it's one of those bronzers i feel very comfortable just kind of like dusting all over so i'll probably use this in the same way but i'm sure i'll be filming a trying new makeup with a lot of these things so i'll be sure to use this in that video for you guys and of course if there's anything in here that you are particularly interested in please let me know down below in the comment section and i'll make sure to like squeeze that into a video so that's the Givenchy bronzer and then i did get the highlight and bronzer from clinique i just thought they looked so pretty they had the pretty little flower imprint on the pan and oh these are actually much bigger than i thought so here is the bronzer i thought they were going to be the cheek pop size which is uh, I don't have anything equivalent, but it's it's smaller than that. It would fit like on the inside of this pan, but here is Solar Pop, and this is another baked bronzer. I still have the Givenchy swatch here, so I'll swatch this right next to it. The Givenchy is here, and here's the Clinique Solar Pop. So the Clinique is a little bit more neutral, less warm, and a little bit deeper than the Givenchy. Well, that's great. I'm glad that they're different. <laughs> I was really afraid they were gonna be the same, but these are quite different in tone. But I love that baked powder, kind of like creamy finish that it has, that both of these have actually. So that is Solar Pop, and then I also got Lunar Pop, which is the highlighter. Ooh, this looks gorgeous. So I really wanted to get this because I missed out on the Lunar New Year Clinique highlighter. It's the one that had the really cute mouse imprint on there. And when I saw this, I thought, gosh, this looks really, really similar to that, just with a different embossing. So there it is on my ring finger. Ooh, very pretty. I really like the tone. It has like a soft peach kind of tone to it. Ooh, ooh, I'm excited for these. Definitely gonna be including that in a trying new makeup video. And then I did pick up a bunch of stuff from Tower 28. So I did get that Beach Please Luminous Tinted Balm and I got it in the shade Happy Hour. So here is the packaging. I love this clear Lucite packaging. It's so pretty. And then there's the Happy Hour shade. Ooh, it's even prettier in person. Oh, wow. Ooh, ooh, that is pigmented. Woof. Ooh, the texture of this is really, really nice. Oh, I can see why people are raving about this. Ooh, that's gorgeous. I have too much makeup on at the moment to throw this on top, but ooh, ooh, look at that. That is stunning. And I really like this formula. Like it kind of like drags a little bit, but that's really nice for cheek products because you really don't want them to move. Ooh, and it blends out like beautifully, not patchy at all. All right, I feel like I need to go back online and order the other shades of this. So this is Happy Hour. I think they have one that's like kind of, art. well, they're all probably sold out at this point, but um, I think there were two other shades. Anyway, after this video, I'm gonna go take a look. And then I picked up two of the lip glosses. I had purchased 
the fire shade, the orange shade, a couple of weeks ago and just fell in love with it. So I went ahead and purchased Magic, which is the one that I mentioned in my video that was in my cart that I was probably gonna pick up. But this is, ooh, this is like a clear, ish <laughs> iridescent glittery shade this looks like so much fun oh how pretty it has like a golden shift to it and it has really subtle shimmers oh my gosh that's going to be so beautiful on its own as a topper oh wow love that and then i decided to go ahead and pick up a different shade uh, while I was at it. And this is XOXO. This one really looks like jelly. And these lip glosses are called the Shine On Lip Jelly Lip Glosses. This really looks like jelly. Oh, pretty. Just give you a really nice stain. Oh, I cannot wait to use these. Awesome. So that is Tower 28's um, XOXO and Magic, which was the like golden one. And then I also mentioned, I for some reason, I don't know why, <laughs> I threw in the Tom Ford Soleil Ultra Shine Lip Color in the shade Exuberant. And a bunch of the Tom Ford things online are on sale, but this, this wasn't one of them, of course. And I really like this formula. They actually changed like the name of it and it used to be in like the regular uh, like brown packaging. Um, and it was the very first thing I purchased from Tom Ford in the color, I think, Bear and nubile if i'm remembering that correctly anyway this is like the soleil version and i got the color what did i say exuberant this just looked like one of those beautiful corally colors that i would love 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 for the spring summertime oh that looks incredible Oof. Definitely cannot wait to try that. And this formula is so nice. It's one of the more moisturizing formulas in his line. And you think that the colors are gonna be a little bit more sheer than that, but they're not. They're very, very pigmented, really gorgeous. Oh, I'm glad I picked this up. This was one of those products in my cart that I was like, eh, if I need to like kind of trim the cart a little bit, this was gonna go, but oh, I'm so glad I got that. And then I did pick up the RMS Lip to Cheek in color Beloved. And when I mentioned this in my uh, wish list video, one of you said, don't bother with this. It's very, very sticky on the cheeks. So I'm a little bit bummed about that because I really don't want something sticky on my cheeks. It's just unpleasant. My hair is usually down and yeah, I don't like that. But let me know if you've had experience with these lip to cheeks from RMS Beauty. I'd really rather not touch it and have to try it out and return it. So let me know if you've used this, if you think that it's kind of sticky on the cheek. I don't mind if it's sticky on the lip, but I really don't want it sticky on the cheek. So let me know if you've tried this out, if you find it to be sticky or not sticky. Let me know down below in the comment section. So this next product was not, it was not in my cart or on my wish list, but I was just kind of cruising. I came across it and I was like, oh, that looks really good. I don't know. So I threw it in my cart and I got it. This is the Christian Louboutin Sheer Vol Lip Color. And I got it in color Escaton. 605S. So it comes in, you know, the extra flashy Louboutin box that flips open. And then here is <laughs> the lipstick on the inside. It's just, it's so extra. And then it comes with this like ribbon. I don't, you can make it an ornament or turn it into a neck. I don't know. I always just take it off and <laughs> and put it in the box. So here's the outside packaging, very subtle, very minimal. And then here is the Escaton color. So it's probably the exact same as this Tom Ford exuberant color. I'm gonna swatch it right underneath. It's pretty, it's pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same. It's a little bit more orange than the exuberant. The exuberant is a little bit more pink. This is a little bit more orange, but very, very close. But you can see why I was attracted to this. It's just such a me color. And I don't know that I knew Louboutin made sheer lip colors, which are kind of my favorite. They're usually more moisturizing. And I like, you know, pigment that I can build up or if I can kind of leave it sheer if I want. So anyway, this was just very appealing to me. And this color is gorgeous. So I'm glad I picked that up even though it was completely unplanned. And then I was kind of deciding between this palette and the Melt Cosmetics Rust palette. But I have the Melt Cosmetics Rust stack. I have most of their other palettes. And so I just thought it was a little repetitive. And now they've come out with a 420 palette, which looks really, really nice. And actually something that appeals to me a little bit more than this Rust palette. I don't know if I'm gonna get that one because looking at it more, it looks very, very similar to the Gemini palette 
whatever. Anyway, so I didn't get the Milk Cosmetics Rust Palette. I did end up getting the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes. So my recommendations wishlist video, I did in collaboration with Britt Clark. And so we were kind of talking back and forth before we actually posted our videos and she had this palette and she was like, girl, she's like, no, none of the colors are revolutionary. She's like, it's not a revolutionary um, color story, but she's like, but it is really, really nice. She said the packaging is really nice. And there was one shade in there that she said was amazing. And she's right. This package is actually really, really cool. It has a nice weight. It's not heavy. It's not like the Pat McGrath ones, but it has a really nice, like decent weight to it. And oh, I, I really like this. I like this green edition. But Britt said this opulence color is like over the top to die for. Oh wow, look at that. Ooh, she did say this is the only shade in the palette with this formula and she wishes more of the shades had this formula. Wow, that is gorgeous. Okay, I have to swatch this Supreme color, which is like this green color down here. Ooh, wow, that is beautiful too. So just, FYI, this is made in the US. It's assembled in the DR. It has a 12 month shelf life once it's been opened. Oh, and the net weight. So each shadow is 0 0.05 ounces or 1.4 grams. And there's 12 shadows in here. Stunning. Okay, let me swatch one of these mattes. So this one is eccentric. Ooh, nice pigmentation. That doesn't feel necessarily very like super silky or creamy but it doesn't feel like dry or hard pressed either. It actually feels like right in the middle. I am so excited to use this palette. These shades look amazing. All right, and just a few other like non makeup products that I decided to throw into my cart like really last minute. So I decided to pick up this Kerastase scalp scrub. I really love scalp scrubs and I just went through one. I'm playing with a few other ones. Anyway, this one looked really appealing to me. This is the Soothing Scrub Cleanser with sweet orange peel. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. In fact, I think I need to open it up and smell it right now. It doesn't necessarily smell very citrusy, but it smells really fresh and clean. Maybe a little citrus. Ooh, and there is the consistency. It's actually like jelly-like. Neat. Cannot wait to try this. And then I decided, I, if you guys have been watching me for a long time, you know how many times I've like attempted self tanning. All it comes down to is the fact that I'm lazy. So I decided I'm gonna do it. We're home during this quarantine. I do have a little bit of extra time these days. So I got the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express. This is the bronzing gel. It is a one hour hydrating tan. So I thought I would try that. And I also got the Self Tan bronzing water face mist. So anytime I watch a YouTuber that self tans, they always talk about how their face um, fades the fastest. You know, that's what you're washing the most or exfoliating the most or whatever. So that's why I thought I would get the face mist to kind of use as like a top off situation. Um, so that's why I got that. And then I got this mitt. So I had purchased a mitt like maybe last year from Saint Tropez, but it was awful. It was like so, so cheap. And so many of you commented actually when I hauled that one, you were like, oh, that's a terrible one. I would have told you not to get that one. But they have come out with a Lux applicator mitt. This is the dual sided velvet Lux applicator mitt. And I thought I would just try this one. I also ordered what should be coming today off of Amazon, like a back applicator. It's basically like this on like a long thing and you can just kind of apply the um, bronzing gel that way because I know if I have to depend on someone else to do my back, it's just never ever gonna happen. So I got that and I'm probably gonna do a vlog soon, like <laughs> a day at home with me and maybe we'll do the self tan together during that vlog. But anyway, I threw these things in my cart last minute on a whim. Hopefully I'll use them. Hopefully it'll turn out okay. So those are all the things that I got from Sephora. Uh, let's move on to some other things that I've purchased. Actually, this is the last thing that I purchased, but this is from Jill Stewart. And uh, when I did my beauty card spring gift card event haul, I hauled one of her blushes and fell like head over heels in love with it. And they were all sold out, but they came 
out with, sorry, they came out with this uh, lavender color and it was available actually on the Jill Stewart site. And I just went ahead and ordered it off of that site. And I actually posted it to my Instagram stories just to let you guys know, because I know so many of you were bummed that they were all sold out on Beautylish. So if you guys are into like new makeup releases or whatever, definitely follow me on Instagram. I really try to post quickly, like when new releases come out, because I know when I'm trying to get my hands on a new release, um, they've just been selling out so quickly. So anyway, I'm trying to just like let people know when it happens because I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm the last one to know sometimes. So anyway, this is a blush that I got from Jill Stewart and I cannot open this box. So this is the Bloom Mix Blush Compact 07. So they only have six colors on uh, Beautylish and I was watching Tara Babies and she's a YouTube channel here and she was talking about how she saw this number seven color maybe on Instagram or something and I was like what there's another color so I just did a search and the Jill Stewart site popped up and they had it available all the other colors were sold out just like on Beautylish but this one was available so here is what the compact looks like it's so so pretty and I think one of you asked like how this one feels I don't think it feels cheap. It's not like the heaviest compact I've ever felt, but there's actually a decent weight to it. And it's so much fun. It's so, it's so girly. So, so here is the blush. So the name of this one is Lavender Rhapsody. So it has this like purpley tint to it. I am going to, I'm just gonna swatch all the colors together. Oh, this formula, it's so, so soft and silky. Ooh, look at that shade. Oh, it's so, so pretty. I definitely want to get the rest of these when they pop up on the Beautylish site for sure, or the Jill Stewart site, wherever, wherever I can get my hands on them. Oh, and it also comes, I always forget, it also comes with this little charm. So there is the charm on the compact. Very excited for that. All right, so those are all the things that I purchased. I'm gonna move into the things that I've received in PR now. This first box that I got is so gigantic and so so generous. I'm completely blown away every single time I get a box from the House of Siage. They always outdo themselves. So they've been doing these mystery vaults on their website so you can get a huge, huge discount if you buy these mystery vaults. They're also offering like 25% off on the site, which does not include the mystery vaults and some other kind of like combined products. But if you just wanna pick up one of their, you know, beautiful lipstick bow tie cases or just one of their perfumes or whatever it is going to be 25% off but the founder of House of Siage Nicole Mather I think is how you pronounce her last name um, she put together this mystery vault and it's a beauty and fragrance collection and it is valued at almost two thousand dollars and you can get it for nine hundred and eighty six dollars so they sent me an example of one of these mystery boxes and they wanted to get this up for mother's day because i mean it would just if you want to spoil your mom you can spoil your mom with these mystery vaults i mean they're just absolutely stunning so let me get this box out it's just it's huge and it's heavy so i'm not going to be able to hold it up for too long but i'll show you what is included so here's the box oh my gosh yep yeah, it's really heavy I'm just gonna put it down right here. So this is the box that the vault is gonna come in. It's this beautiful, like really sturdy gift box. And here's what the inside of the box looks like. Again, so beautifully wrapped, so beautifully packaged. So there is this like cozy, absolutely perfect for the days that we are at home. This beautiful like fluffy blanket. This vault included, oh, let me get it all out, um, a lipstick bow tie case. I don't know what color it is, but they come in this beautiful like gift box. And then the case, it's like a jewelry box. Ooh, I got a white one. Oh my God. I wanted a white one. How beautiful. So these are just cases for uh, lipstick refills that you can stick right in here. And they sent me two refills. One is Duchess and one is Prince. So here is Prince, which is like just such a pretty light pink color. And here is Duchess, which is more of like a mauve kind of rose color. Very, very pretty. And then I got a Blanc Absolu Single Travel Spray. Oh my God, these are so gorgeous. Look at this travel spray case. So what you can do is put in one of their travel sprays in here, and then they sent a whole bunch of their scents in travel spray form. So I can just go ahead and stick any of these into this case. And then last but not least, 
This one is the Tiara fragrance, and I believe this fragrance was inspired by Kate Middleton's and Prince, I forget their names. It's not Harry, William? Prince William? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. I can't remember. Anyway, the older one. Um, their wedding. And I believe this was inspired by that wedding. So here is the box. It opens. Oh my God. Look at this case. It's like a box that it comes in. Oh my goodness. There's like a little gem here. So you have to press this down and then lift up the lid. Oh wow. My God. Will you look at this bottle? Holy smokes this is the most incredible thing i've ever seen wow so i think um prince oh god prince william <laughs> i think kate middleton's engagement ring was a sapphire so i believe this was inspired by that so there's like a plastic protective uh slip over this but it says house of siage and then it says tiara so this is one of their limited edition fragrances i'm just on the site i want to find out what the notes are just so you know so the top notes are tangerine and cinnamon heart notes are rose oil and peony and the base notes are vanilla and musk house of siash has the most unique fragrances ever god this bottle is so heavy but in every vault you will get a limited edition fragrance which is valued at 1210 dollars one of these and a lipstick bow tie case which is valued at 198 dollars so you're always guaranteed these two things and then the other things may differ from what i showed you but you'll always get these two wow huge huge thank you to house of siage for that beautiful mystery vault i am completely blown away i'm completely blown away every time they send me anything and that I would even be on their PR list so thank you so so much to House of Siage and then oh I got a box from Busy Art which has their new spritz edit palette oh, I'm very excited for this I think I'm gonna do a dedicated video to this palette I usually do them for the Busy Art palettes because I love them so much so here is the outer packaging and then there are the color names on there. And my absolute, I don't, I don't drink anymore. I used to drink. It just doesn't sit well with me anymore. <clears throat> but when I used to drink, oh, I live in the summertime, I lived off of like Aperol spritz or Campari spritzes. Loved them. And I think the Aperol spritz is what um, inspired this palette. Oh, look, it has little bubblies on the actual palette. Oh, how beautiful. So typical um, edit palette packaging. It has like the magnetic tab closure here. And then it opens up. There's a mirror on the inside. And then we have the 12 shades. There's a plastic cover. Let me take that off. And then here are the 12 shades on the inside. So when I do a video on this, I will compare it to the warm edit palette and also the apricotine. Those are the two palettes I feel like I see when I look at this one, but we'll definitely do some comparisons. I think there are some uh, previously released shades in this palette, um, but I am so excited by this shade and this shade. This one just looks like so much fun. Let me just swatch those two shades. So those are the two shades from the Spritz palette. Oh, isn't that so pretty? Ooh. Okay, I cannot wait to play with that palette with you guys. This video will definitely be coming up soon. And then I got this lovely box from Nude Envy. This is a brand that I've seen on most of the major retailer sites. I think they're known for like their nude lipsticks, um, but they do have other products. So let me just show you what they sent me. They sent me two lipsticks. This one is in the color Intuition, and this one is in the color Rush. The packaging is really nice. It's very, very sleek. And let's do a little swatch of this. Ooh, it's very creamy. So this one is Rush. And they have a very, very faint vanilla cupcake kind of scent. And I just want to see if it says there's any kind of a finish. I don't see anything like that on the packaging, but from what I can tell, these seem like just, you know, cream, satin kind of finished lipsticks. And then they also sent two eyeshadows and a blush. Ooh, here's the packaging again, very sleek. So this eyeshadow shade is Dazzle, and this looks like a matte brown shade, warm brown. Ooh, very smooth. Lovely. That is Dazzle. Oh, and they are vegan and cruelty-free, FYI. Actually, I see vegan and cruelty-free on the eyeshadow and the blush. I don't see it on the lipsticks. So I don't know if the entire brand is vegan and cruelty-free or just some of their products. So anyway, the eyeshadows and the blush are definitely vegan and cruelty-free. Um, okay, so this is the eyeshadow in Dreamy. Ooh, this one looks like it has like a satin finish. Ooh, there's Dreamy. 
Let's take a look at this blush. So this blush is in the shade Greatness. Oh, and it's a cream blush. Ooh, you guys know how much I love a cream blush in the summertime. Ooh, very creamy. There is Greatness. Ooh, that's very pretty. Thank you so much, Nude Envy, for sending over all of these goodies. I cannot wait to try these products out. How beautiful. And then Nails Inc. <laughs> sent me a package, and when I got it, I think maybe just a couple days before, I had really poorly attempted to take off my gel polish on my nails, and my poor hands have just been in this really hideous state ever since. But they sent over a Correct and Conditioned Duo, this is, I guess, like a treatment for your hands, which I desperately need at this point. It looks like there's two pens and it helps you like correct any kind of like nail polish mistakes. So when I get a moment, I really need to like figure out what I'm doing with my nails. And then I was like, they must be mind readers or they know exactly what we need during this time, but they also sent over the gel rehab. So this is treatment um, and a base coat for damaged nails, which, Mine no doubtedly are because I used a Dremel to kind of get rid of the gel polish and I try to avoid my nails, but I know I filed down my actual nail on some parts. So anyway, this is gonna come in really, really handy. And they sent over masks for my hands and my feet. <laughs> this, I cannot wait to use. I wanted to show it to you guys first before I like tore into the package, but it's for dry and tired skin. This I don't need. This I think I'm actually going to give to a friend of mine that I think will really, really enjoy these. But I have, this is total TMI, but I have really sweaty feet and my feet are always in slippers or always in socks. So my feet are actually too soft. So whenever I go and get a pedicure and they start kind of like filing down the bottom of my feet, I always tell them to stop because I'm like, I need calluses. Like I, I need to build up calluses. <laughs> it's such a weird problem to have. So anyway, my feet are too soft for these, but my hands are definitely not too soft for these. So cannot wait to try these out. Look how cute they are. <laughs> so huge thank you to Nails Inc. for sending over these very much needed goodies for my hands. Thank you very much. And that is it. I thought I had one more box, but I didn't. It was it was all jumbled together. Anyway, that is it. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Let me know if you've received your Sephora VIB sale packages yet. We'd love to hear what you ended up purchasing. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.